I think our, all our society is run by insane people for insane objects, mm. objectives. But now I can put it into that sentence that I think we're being run by maniacs for maniacal mean uh, ends, you know. If, if anybody can put on paper what our government and the American government, etc., and the Russian, Chinese, what they are actually trying to do, you know, and how, what they think they're doing, mm. I'd be very pleased to know what they think they're doing. I think they're all insane. My conscience don't let me go shoot my brother or uh, some darker people or uh, some poor hungry people in the mud for big powerful America and shoot them for what? I'm talking about the real owners now. The big wealthy business is just to control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. Politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. It's just completely unfixable. I mean, if, if you look at the way it is now, just it's a honeycomb of, of corruption and, and, and just a bureaucratic BS and red tape and it's just, God, it's a business. The government is a business and we need, and, and this, the way this world is structured, it's almost like we need that business to keep running in this ridiculous manner. Crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy. We sit in the house and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller and all we say is please at least leave us alone in our living room. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belted radios and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it and stick your head out and yell. I'm as bad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much, we feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. 